hi guys welcome to the channel today in this series we are going to be creating this mobile onboarding flow right here um it's going to be a coffee shop with um simple onboarding flow um till we get to the sign-in page um this is what the sign-in page will look like it's going to be an interactive input field where we are going to be making use of variants components um absolute positioning and all the good stuff to create a proper interactive input field. I'm also going to be making use of auto layout to create and design the structure around the input field and the sign in screen. I also don't like the video to be too long, so I'm going to be splitting the video into two. The first part will only contain this onboarding flow, and for the second part, we are going to focus on the input field and also the entire login and sign in flow so let's get into the video the first thing i'm going to do is to create a mobile frame i'm going to select the frame tool and i'm also going to open up the phone and i'm going to select the iphone 11 pro the iphone 11 pro frame i'm going to rename it to splash screen because this is the first screen you're going to see when you open up your mobile app i've also pasted in a toolbar at the top um I have the light and the dark colored toolbar because the splash screen is going to be white i'm going to be using the dark colored toolbar on it so i'm just going to perfectly fit it in the top of the mobile frame that i just created next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the images we are going to be using for our onboarding screens so i've just pasted three images on the screen um, and i'm going to duplicate a splash screen i'm going to duplicate it to have another instance of the frame i'm going to rename it to onboarding screen one so that's going to be our very first onboarding screen um i'm also going to duplicate this frame two more times to get the second and the third onboarding screen because i have three different messages i want to pass across to the user before taking them to the sign up screen so i'm just going to fit in one of the images the very first image on the very first onboarding screen i'm going to properly position it at the top of the page and i noticed i can't use this dark toolbar because the image is dark themed it's looking a little bit dark so i'm going to replace it with a white toolbar so that it can give it um a nice looking contrast i'm also going to go ahead and replace the next two dark toolbar with um, a white toolbar just like the one i used here so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to select the next two dark toolbar and i'm going to paste to replace them on the next screen the next thing i want to do is to fit the image of the second onboarding screen um, properly on the screen and I'm just going to position it just the way I did for the first one. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing for the third onboarding screen. But before then, I'm going to space out all the frames a little more so that I can easily see what I'm working with. I'm also going to select the third image and also position it um, inside the frame of our third onboarding screen. Um, I'm also going to properly position it at the top of the page uh, of the screen um, and that seems perfect um, I also noticed that both images for the second and third on body screens are covering the toolbar at the top so what you will do is to go to your layers and make the toolbar above the layer of the image but what I want to do here is to add the title text and the subtitle text of the information I want to pass in my um, onboarding screen one. The first one will say book a seat and I'm just going to copy and paste um, some text below the title as the subtitle just to have a description of um, what the first onboarding screen is all about. Um, and this can vary depending on the image, depending on the information you're trying to pass across to the user. I'm just going to properly position it um, 
and space the title text and the subtitle text and i'm going to hit shift a to create an auto layout between them um the next thing i would like to do is to create a button that takes the user to the next onboarding screen so i'm going to create a text i'm going to write next and i'm going to style it increase the font width a little and um also the font size i'm going to hit shift a and create an auto layout around it i'm going to make it fixed width and i'm going to give it a particular width i'm also going to set it um to be center aligned i'm then going to position the button properly and give it um a few i'm also going to change the color of that button to this particular orange color and i'm going to change the text color to a white text color i'm also going to adjust the button color a little bit more to a brighter orange color um i think this is perfect then i'm going to round up the edges I'm going to round up the edges a little more so um now i have this nice looking button right here and the next thing i'm going to do is to properly center it on the screen and make it a component i'm going to hit ctrl c to copy it and i'm going to drag this particular component out of the screen then i'm going to hit, click on the frame and i'm going to click ctrl v to paste it back in the particular spots that it was copied from so after doing this um the next thing i would like to do at this moment will be to save this particular layout as a component because i'm going to be replicating this particular design for the next two screens so i'm going to select both items on um, the text and the button i'm going to hit shift a and I'm going to make the whole section a component. I'm also going to copy it, drag the main component down and paste it back in that particular spot. Um, I'm also going to paste it um, in the next two frames because I'm going to be using a similar layout for the next two onboarding screens. I think our onboarding screen is coming out nice and neat. Um, so what I want to do is to make the text dynamic um, So I'm going to select the text in the main component um, And I'm going to give it a particular um, Property name um, And I'm going to do the same thing for the subtext. I'm going to click on that create Property button right there and I'm going to give the property name a particular name this can be very depending on what you want to name your text property so i'm just going to go ahead and create that um then i'm going to head over to the individual screens i'm going to start from the second onboarding screen and i'm going to change the text of the title and also the text the subtitle text sorry so i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to update the text here and i'm going to do the same thing for the third onboarding screen so once i'm done um properly fixing the text in the second i'm going to go to the third onboarding screen i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to update the title text and also the subtitle text and this is exactly the use of a text property. It allows you to change the text um, values in variants of a component without having to dive into its specific layer. Um, I also want to create um, a page indicator, which is basically um, something that indicates um, the page that we are on which is either the first page the second page or the third page um there are different ways we can design this but i'm just going to go with a simple three dots um which is more like something we are very used to i'm also going to make it a component um i'm going to 
make the first variant indicate the first page, the second variant indicates the second page, and the third variant for the third page. I'm also going to copy an instance of this um, component and I'm going to paste it in our first onboarding screen. So I'm just going to click on the first variant here and copy it. I'm going to drag it into the component uh, of our onboarding screen content section. Um, as you can see, it's using the default spacing. So I'm just going to properly align it with the content section up by hitting Shift A on the selection of both. And I'm going to give it this particular spacing. As you can see, this takes effect on all the variants or the instance of that particular component rather. So for this, I'm just going to use the second variant, which is at the second indicator. And for this, I'm going to use the third variant I'm going to, of the indic page indicator. So as you can see, our onboard screen is coming out nice. Um, uh, we have all our components all set um, and nice. I'm just going to reposition them on the side of the screen so that I can probably have um, a clean environment to work with. The next thing I would like to do is to create a skip button right next to our next button. Okay, why that might sound confusing, what I mean is on our first onboarding screen, for a returning user, such user might not have the patience to go through all the onboarding screens and would like to skip all this just directly to the sign-in screen. So to do that, I'm just going to duplicate the text in a button and I'm going to change the color to this orange color and I'm going to change the, um, the content of the button from next to skip. After doing this, we can see that this action have taken effect in all the instances of our component. I also noticed that at the top of the screen of our second and third onboarding screen, um, the status bar is not visible. So I'm going to head over to the layer section and I'm going to make the status bar come above all other elements and components in that frame. I'm going to do the same thing for the third onboarding screen. I'm going to take the the status bar layer um, to the top of the frame so that it can be visible as you can see this is now looking really nice so i'm just going to create another frame at the end where we are going to be designing our login and signing and sign up screens but i won't be doing the sign up and signing screen in this video so please watch out for the next video um to understand how I created the sign in and login screen. So I'm just going to make a quick prototype of our onboarding screens. I'm going to create a prototype from the splash screen to the first onboarding screen. It's going to be an after delay. I'm going to set it to 1000 to 1005 milliseconds. And I'm going to just make it a dissolve animation type. Um, I'm going to do the second interaction from the first onboarding screen to the second onboarding screen. I'm going to prototype on the next button to the next and i'm going to do the same prototype from the second to the third onboarding screen with the next button um here i'm just using the prototype wires you can obviously set it manually from the control panel on the right um here i'm going to set the animation to instant and i'm going to go ahead to complete the prototype by connecting the wires from the last onboarding screen to our sign in and sign up screen we've not created that but the frame after that will just act as our sign in and sign up screen so i'm also going to remove the skip button from the last onboarding screen um, because there is actually no need to skip from the last onboarding screen to the next screen. I'm then going to connect the wires from the skip button of the first and the second onboarding screen down to our sign-in screen, which is currently empty um, at this point in the design. So I'm going to do the same thing for both of the skip buttons. Um, 
and at this point i believe we have all our prototype wires properly connected and we can prototype this onboarding flow so as you can see this is coming out just the way we want it um the next button takes us through all the pages we want up to the last signing screen which is going to be designed in the next video and in my next video i'm going to be designing the sign in and sign up screens where we'll also be talking about the interactive input field so guys please don't forget to like subscribe um, and i'm going to see you in my next video